Well, hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Canning Nana. So, today we are going to do something a, a little bit different. I've never done a video um, driving before, so I figure I would take you guys along a little bit and just talk to you about what I've been up to. Um, and so I am on my way to Sacramento to see my daughter and pick up my grandkids and see my son. Um, just a quick fair and back trip. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys about my fair entries. So today they got judged. I dropped them off on Sunday. Um, they're getting judged today. And my other daughter's going to pick my second jars up, the judging jars, um, because those are open. I'm in the car, so if it's if I'm yelling, I'm really sorry. Um, so uh, yeah, she's going to pick up the open jars for me tomorrow and bring those home. So there were only about 300 entries uh, when I dropped off my jars, and I was one of the last people at the fair because I had an appointment because I dropped off 30 entries. Um, there was one other lady who dropped off 70 entries. So the reason I entered so many, I usually do, um, and this is the first time since I think 2017 that I've uh, entered anything in the fair uh, because we were traveling and then we moved and then uh, the world changed. <laughs> so there's been no fair uh, the last two years. This is the first year. So um, it's my first time in a while and you have to enter 20 entries to win the sweepstakes award, um, which I've won in the past. So, and that's kind of like the overall thing. So but you get so many, <clears throat> excuse me, you get so many points when you get first place, second place, and third place. And the person, if you have over 20, you have to have over 20 entries. Um, and yesterday it looked like there were only like four people with over 20 entries, they said. So, I, I mean, there's a lot of, they look like beautiful jars. I saw some beautiful jars there yesterday. Uh, lots of different things, but a lot of the categories, I was the only category, I was the only jar. Um, the only entry for that category. Like my marinated mushrooms, um, I think my lemon curd, I think that was the only one too. <clears throat> so I think I have a really good chance of winning sweepstakes this year. Um, so we'll see. I mean, you know, when I go to the fair, I will take you guys along and I will do a whole, um, I I'll show you guys all of the preserved food entries. Um, I'll film in there. I really, really wanted to film all of my jars before I dropped everything off. Um, that didn't work because I'm just moving too slow these days and I got a late start. I was canning all weekend long. Um, the three videos that I put up, I did those three things and I did a couple of more things and then had to do dinner and uh, did some work and it's just, it was a busy weekend and I had to be there by three o'clock on Sunday and um, it, it was pretty hard for me to do that. So, um, so yeah, so I, I got 30 entries in. Um, I entered some dried foods too, some dehydrated food is entered in. Um, so I entered my turkey, um, my, my pork, I do chicken and beef all the time. You guys know that. And I didn't enter my chicken or beef. Could you believe that? I totally spaced it. Um, and I have some meat. So the, you can enter anything that is made within the last year. It has to be uh, processed within the last year. So um, I entered my Italian seasoning, of course. So we'll see how that does. I've never entered it before. Um, so that'll be a first. I don't know if there's any other entries in that category or anything. I didn't see any of the dehydrated foods, um, but we'll see. We'll see how it does. I'm really curious to see. But I can say it's an award-winning Italian seasoning, right? Um, my lemon curd and my corn cob jelly and a few other things are already first place winners. And my lemon curd was sweepstakes. Um, and, and overall, it was uh, best of show. So was my... Um, my corn cup jelly was best to show, and my chicken and my spaghetti sauce, my marinara sauce, got best to show uh, years back. So, and I entered all of those again, uh, except for the chicken, of course. Um, but I entered uh, uh, marinara sauce, and then I entered my straight tomatoes, just as spaghetti sauce. 
a water bath can. I entered whole Roma tomatoes, green beans, some beets. Um, oh, what else did I enter? I entered so many things, you guys. Caramel sauce I did, uh, my caramel topping. Um, gosh. Uh, marinated mushrooms, regular mushrooms, um, pinch of beans, green beans, um, beets, did I say beets? And then pickled beets and pickled carrots. Um, so we'll see how those do too. I've never entered those. There's a lot of stuff I've never entered. And and pork and turkey were two that I've never entered before. I've entered beef and I've entered chicken, and uh, those have always won first place. So figured I'd try something different this year. So I will let you guys know um, how I do when I go to the fair. It opens uh, next, opens the third, whatever the third is. <laughs> I'm driving, I can't look at the calendar. So um, whatever the third is, and it goes until the 16th. I'm not sure what day we're gonna go. Um, there's a Beach Boy concert, and then there's a few other ones. There's a Cheap Trick concert. Um, Cheap Trick was really popular when me and my husband were first dating, and we've never seen it together. Uh, seen the Beach Boys like every year since I've been in Ventura, uh, which is 21 years. So we've, um, yeah, I love them. I really, really love them. So we plan to go a few times. We usually go several times to the fair. So, um, I will definitely do a video. Um, if you guys look a few years back, gosh, probably four years back, you'll see entries from the fair from me and my granddaughters because my granddaughters usually um, will can with me and then they'll um, dehydrate food and then they have their own entries. And they've won best to show um, their lemon curd, their strawberry jam. Oh, I entered strawberry jam and pomegranate jelly as well. Um, so whatever I showed you guys, I, I entered. Um, and so, yeah, you know, this year, um, the two of the grandkids are up, up here, up north. Um, that's where I'm going to get them. And they've been up here for a, a few weeks now with my oldest daughter. And um, so I didn't get to can or, or dehydrate or anything with them. And then my other granddaughter, my, my oldest granddaughter, um, she is have, she had summer school. And then the, the littlest granddaughter is with my daughter up here. That's my oldest daughter's. And then I have the two grandsons. And then um, and then a baby granddaughter. There's only one. <laughs> so, and she's up, up here too. So, um, so yeah. So, out of five of my grandkids, three of the girls, or six of my grandkids, six, seven. I have seven grandkids. <laughs> Get it right. Get it right, Nana. Um, so, five of them live five miles from me um, and they're my one daughters so and then the two are, are two other daughters uh, separate daughters <laughs> so yeah so anyway so that's what's happening in uh Nana land and um hoping to have the girls now that they're they're going to be home um hoping to have the two uh Lisa and Chelsea which if you guys watch my original videos they were always in my original videos back to when I first started my channel five years ago you guys um so they were always in it so was Ava uh, the boys have been in it just a little bit my my oldest grandson who's, who's uh, six or seven uh, just turned seven so but yeah if you look back to my very very first video um, I think it's the garden with my grandkids and then goes from there teaching my grandkids how to can it's um, really cool because they've they've been canning and um well they've been gardening with me since they could walk the, the girls and then um canning with me uh from the time they're they're probably two i would let them fill bean jar you know the jars when i make the pinto beans i would uh, let them do that so they know how to do everything um and I think my oldest granddaughter is going to come over soon and make lemon curd and some strawberry jam because they ate all the lemon curd already that I gave them. I just gave them a small jar. So I'm going to have to make another batch of that. Um, and we're going to have some giveaways. Uh, all of my channel members are going to be getting some jam or lemon curd or something, um, some kind of jam or something um, soon. That's going to be one of the benefits of being a channel member is that I'm going to start to do, um, you're, you're going to get 
different things every month. There's um, the super membership that get something every single month. So if you're a channel member, make sure that I have your address. Um, you got to email me, thecanningnana at gmail.com. Um, if you're a channel member, you also have my text number. So if you guys can um, make sure that I have your address because starting in August, I'm going to start um, sending out jam samples, um, lemon curd samples, and uh, some other things. We're going to have the Italian seasoning um, ready pretty soon. So, um, yeah, that's going to be um, that's going to be made available very, very soon. And I'm only going to have 12 jars at a time because, or 12 containers. They're I think they're four ounce containers. Um, that's going to come up in August. Those are going to be available through my channel only. Um, and it's going to be first come first serve. So if anybody wants some, um, I have to charge shipping. So I'm not sure on the price that I'm going to do. Um, if I want to do it like including shipping, I mean, shipping is like $385. Um, I could ship it for $385. So um, we're not sure on the cost of it yet because I had to buy containers and stuff, but I will let you guys know. And um, I just want you guys to have it. So really just want to try to get my money back on the containers, really. Um, I just want to share with you guys. So it's not going to be expensive. Also, my recipe book. Um, I have decided to do it in a few different parts and make it available. Uh, this way I'm not rushed to finish it. So it's going to be like main entrees, Italian entrees, desserts, vegetables, um, kind of broken up. And then you guys can make your own recipe book or the whole recipe book will be made available um, when I have all of it all done. Um, so I've been working on that and um, it's coming along really good. It's going to be really cool. So, and I'd like to have the final recipe book spiral bound because I want it to be a recipe book, not just a three ring binder thing, you know. Um, I mean, that if that's great too, and you guys can download stuff that way. Um, but I want to make it a recipe book. Um, I just need to keep the cost down. So I need to find someone who will bind it for me, you know, either that or, or buy a binder whatever is, uh, is cheaper, depending on the demand for it. So if you guys want a recipe book, you know, let me know what you guys want. If you want um, a recipe book, if you want some of the Italian seasoning, start letting me know now. You can email me, um, thecanningnana at gmail.com and just put at the top um, what I'd like to see or, or what I would like to have. There you go. What I would like to have. Um, and this way your email will stand out and I can put them all on a folder and then when it's time to go, you know, I know, I know what the demand is. So, um, it'll help me to do it a little bit, a little bit better. So, um, I'm going to end this. I am all the way up in past Fresno, California, almost to Sacramento. Uh, my daughter's a little bit past that. So can't wait to see them and my son and, um, so far my wrists are doing really good it's my back that is just hurting so bad I've had to stop twice already once to walk around it's just been uh, I haven't made this drive in about four years since the big C happened um, but a couple years before that because I took the train up here which is so nice um, but yeah this I've, I've driven halfway but um, but not the whole way so it's a six and a half hour drive from where I am so you can imagine with my back, um, I have to stop and just get out and walk for a few minutes. Um, but my wrists are, my wrists are good. I, I'm very, very surprised. I thought that's what I was going to have a problem with. And, um, this wrist, I have no braces on. This wrist is swollen. It's got the bump on there, but it doesn't hurt. <laughs> so I'm good. Um, as long as it doesn't hurt. So yeah, just dealing with the back pain, um, so if you guys pray, I would really appreciate prayers. Um, they really, I really feel your prayers, you guys. Um, I get text messages and emails and then the comments all the time. You guys are telling me that you're praying for me and I so appreciate it. I, I really, really do. I totally feel your prayers. So does my husband. Uh, my husband's back has, has been really, really bad. Um, he hurt it at work and, um, 
it's it's just been really really bad so so yeah we're both dealing with that um so we haven't been doing a whole lot of, of much of anything really just kind of working around the house as we can and um taking it easy um i'm going to show you guys the garden next week I'm gonna do some canning and rearranging of my jars my jars are everywhere in my dining room and in my kitchen so I have a I have a 20 by 7 foot kitchen thank goodness because um, I have probably nine boxes of jars on the floor between my kitchen and my dining room right now uh, because I had to get everything out to see what I needed and they're all in the, the canning boxes um, what's in my pantry I just left in my pantry but um, yeah, I have a lot more food than I thought I did. <clears throat> Plus, there's more in uh, a couple other rooms. So we're going to get some shelves. We're going to um, do one of the bedroom closets, our guest room closet, into a uh, makeshift pantry, kind of like a little store, with all my canning jars. Uh, and then kind of just rearrange the kitchen. Um, so I'm going to do it as, as little or, you know, as, as much as I can a little bit at a time. So... Um, so yeah, so just wanted to update you guys. Um, so fair entries, cross your fingers. Um, well, I'm sure by now it's like, it's like 1.15 in the afternoon. So I'm sure by now that everything's been judged. So it's not in my hands anymore. Um, but we'll sh wishful thinking and be hopeful. And um, I will take you guys along with me because it's, it's always an exciting time to enter the fair. And um, it, it's just so much fun to go see all of the other can preserves and and who does it usually there's like 700 to 800 entries there's usually a lot of entries um i kind of thought this year would be a little bit different because i really had a hunt and peck for the entries on the fair um it's kind of hard to find so somebody asked me how to enter in their fair how to enter preserves so if you go to your county fair site there will be fair entries. There should be um, most most fairs, most county fairs, and then state fairs um, have preserved foods, and it will give you the rules: um, what size jar you need for what type of food. It's either a half pint or a pint or a quart, um, depending on what you're putting in. Has to be water bath or pressure canned. Uh, the jellies and the jams and the pickles and everything, everything has to be water bath because there are people tasting your food. Um, they do not taste the pressure canned food because there's too many um, variations. You know, if somebody's off a little bit, um, you can get sick. So they don't do that. They just, um, they just go, they judge it on uh, like six different categories. One is labeling. Um, one is the look of the food. Uh, the smell of the food, the texture, you know, they'll take like the meat, a piece of meat, you know, and put it in the dish. Like the beans, they'll make sure that they're cooked all the way, they're not hard. Um, they, they make sure that you have the right headspace, um, especially in your meats and things. So uh, if you're, if you're going to enter the fair, make sure that you pick the very, very best that you have and enter that. Uh, because it, it really makes a difference because there's going to be people that are right on with their headspace and you might be a little teeny bit off. Um, if you can't measure the headspace correctly, buy, go to Etsy, go to my Etsy store. I've got my debugglers and they show you what the headspace will be uh, from an inch down to a quarter inch. So, um, and the only time you use a quarter inch is when you're making jam. Um, but that inch is for meat and for most everything else, except for chicken, it's it's one and a quarter to one and a half inches, depending, um, because the chicken nowadays produces so much juice. Um, so yeah, so if you want any more information, I would contact your fair, if you can't find information on fair entries, and, um, and ask them if they're doing a Whole Arts division um, for preserved food, dehydrated food, um, there's no freeze dry category at this fair, uh, but this is a small town, so, you know, Ventura is, is a pretty small town, but it includes the whole county, but, uh, but still, out of the whole county, 300, 
entries of, of canned food, and that includes dehydrated food, you guys. So, um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of sad, you know, to see so little entered, but I'm sure everything will come back next year, hopefully, God willing. Uh, so we'll see. But if you have any questions about how to enter or what to enter, um, what you should do to your jars or whatever like that, feel free to email me. And um, word of the day today is road trip. <laughs> so, because I'm taking a road trip and I'm taking you guys along with me. So uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, um, like the video and comment the word of the day, which is road trip in the comment section below to be entered in our giveaway. Um, I know we are over 12,500 uh, subscribers and I still have the 10,000 subscriber giveaway to do, uh, which we are going to be planning very, very soon. Um, also want to tell you guys that I'm in August Jamboree and I will be doing, um, let's see, it's August 17th that I have and I will be doing uh, you, how to use your lemon curd. So I'm going to show you guys what to do with your lemon curd. Uh, and there's a lot of different uses, but I'm going to show you one of my favorite recipes to use lemon curd in. Now, I just spread it on toast normally, um, but this is a really good recipe to actually use it in something. So um, you guys will really like it. And um, let's see. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys one other thing. If you haven't watched my Disneyland Pirates of the Caribbean video, go watch it. Uh, for whatever reason, it's going viral. <laughs> so. It's really cool. Um, we're getting like 2,000 viewers a day or more watching this video. It is so cool, you guys, to watch a video go viral. I've never had a video go viral uh, so quickly. I think we're up to like 48,000 views. And I, yes, I, I've got videos with way more than that. Um, but over the last, those are like my first videos, you know, that uh, from four or five years ago. So this one was done seven months ago and it got shared somewhere um, and is on somebody's playlist, actually a couple playlists, and um, it's going viral. So it's really cool to watch. So if you get a chance, go and watch my um, Pirates of the Caribbean ride, the, uh, the one where the lights and animatronics are off, where we got stuck on the ride. If you haven't watched it already, go watch that. Um, there is a word of the day on that. So, um, if you guys do the word of the day, that will be included with the uh, 10,000 subscriber giveaway because it's gotten so many views. So um, I'm going to go ahead and include it. So um, I'm going to end this because I'm uh, coming up to another town and I'm going to have to get off the freeway soon. So I will see you guys soon. Don't forget to enter the word of the day and please go watch that video and go check out my other channel, um, our travel channel, more fun than sitting at home. Um, We've got 78 viewers. I'm really trying to get to 100 so I can get that community page up. Um, I've already got capabilities to go live. have lots of videos on there. Um, and it's going to be, I'm going to be filming while I'm up here, in fact. So um, go check that out. Uh, there's a link in the description box. And um, I appreciate it, you guys. So I will see you guys soon. Have a great day and um, be safe, everybody.